Hey guys, alright, so similar to before when we're starting our landscaping, we're gonna have to bring in our lights. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in my directional light. Drop that in just right there. We're gonna bring in our sky. Get our skylight. Oh, one. Oh, there we go, skylight. And then we're also going to bring in our atmosphere. Drop that in there. And same thing like before, I like to set these all just to uh, the same position. So that's uh, 0, 0, 300. So 0, 0 for x and y. And Here we're going to start with our uh, landscape, so I'm going to go to landscape tab. This big green area is going to open up. And that whole matrix looking area, well, looks like the matrix loading area, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be the size of the landscape. So that's the size of um, 30, uh, 63x63. So that's pretty much the size that we're going to keep it at. We are going to keep it at that deep. Side. I'm going to bring in some material. Um, the landscape basic uh, meshing first. What other landscapes did I have? Do I have any other landscapes here? And now I'm going to use this one. We're all set there. We are all set there. There, there. Good. And I'm just gonna create it. And this is pretty much what we come into. Just the camera speed back out. So it does not look like we have any grass or anything like that yet. The reason why is we have to go to paint and we actually have to set our um, set our layers. And basically what we're gonna do with that is the only layer I'm gonna really set right now is the grass layer. Um, as I move further into developing the landscape, then I'll, I'll set up things for puddles and other things like that as we go along. Okay. 
by reducing it from uh, 1 to 0.4. At the moment I am not using a, uh, I'm not using a graphics tablet, I'm not using a tablet right now. Um, mainly because this part of it is uh, the blueprint, just easier to just do with a mouse at the moment. When I get into using things like the Smooth, um, I'll just show you a real quick example. If I was to use Smooth on this area here, it's it's easier to do stuff like that. Um, and if I'm using any of the paint stuff, it's a lot easier to do with the graphics tablet. But um, essentially, <laughs> Smooth did not work out too well on that. That is why it's a good thing we have an undo button. Uh, yeah. So like I said, um, this is pretty much where we're at with trying things out with this. These are uh, these are the smart brushes that I picked up that I'm going to be using for the initial layout for this. Um, I do want to see how the smart brushes interact with other brushes and sculpting tools. Obviously, like it did not do well with the smooth right there. Um, but if I were to go here, and say we did a uh, fall off, instead of that, we're going to do a fall off of zero. So it is going to be extremely rough. Okay, no fall off. Now we're going to go to our smooth. Um, now I should be able to smoothen it out. Yeah, it is doable with a mouse. It is totally doable with a mouse. Like, if I want to make hills this way and stuff like that. Um, I just personally prefer uh, using the graphics tablet. I think it, one, it does give me pressure sensitivity. Um, something the mouse does not offer me. Which is kind of nice. want to, we can uh, go ahead and drop the player character in here real quick, walk around for a minute. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to climb up on that big mountain area over there. Uh, should be able to, I don't think it's too steep. Woo! Good thing I don't take full damage. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, I mean that's... Like I said, this right here is pretty much just going to be a testing a testing level right now. Um, got a lot, a lot of different things I have to test. I have to try out all the different brushes. And see what blends where and, and how. And, you know, make it look nice. Yeah, we can get up here onto this one. Now this is the one that I made without using the smart brushes. This was, uh, this is actual default, um, default brushing and stuff like that. Typically when the game is created, all the grass would already be loaded a lot quicker. Um, this is just, uh, a development end, so there are, uh, when you go ahead and build the project, there's different ways to build it. You can build it where your, your lighting and stuff like that and, and your, your level of detail and stuff is lower. Or you can, you can raise it up and um, go into a... Uh, I know specifically for lighting, you have uh, studio, productivity, you have, you have a few different settings there. Um, yeah, I'm going to quickly go up here. I'm going to see what the smart brush did. Let's see how well that worked out. We can get almost to the top of that jump. I could not get up there. Okay. Now this would be an example of uh, just an area where I would have to make it slightly smaller uh, in height. That would be the uh, Z axis. Then uh, just lower that a little bit. So, I mean, right now this technically was done at 0.4. I would say do it at like 0.2, 0.3, maybe 0.2 and a half. Um, and then figure out a way to smooth it from there. But keeping that. Okay, that was just a few 
not totally keeping that. Pen switch to third person. And back to first, back to third. But yeah, this was uh, this was just a slight example of um, of doing some stuff with uh, with paint. Uh, sorry, with with sculpting. I should say. Uh, technically, it works similar to if I was doing things with paint. Um, the brushes are similar. I don't have uh, blueprints in that case, so the brushes and everything like that. We Or coming from here from the layers and be choosing which layer I'm specifically painting at that moment or if I'm choosing to paint a color or something like that. Um, I, ha oh, I guess I do have blue. Hmm. I don't know. I've only done painting and, and stuff like that once um, in uh, Unreal Engine 4.27 so this is gonna be a little bit of a new experience for me on it. Let's do, let's do, let's do puddle. Let's try to paint a puddle. So, I'm not sure that was supposed to be the puddle. I don't know. It's gonna be a, a bit of a learning curve with some of this stuff. I know I would be able to, um, to go ahead and sculpt if I want to, like, sculpt in a river. I think they wanted my river to go in the other way. supposed to bring in the water too, but it did not. I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'm gonna have to look into it a little bit. But... Let's jump over now. That's a bad habit of doing this. I think it dropped my water down there. Alright, well like I said, I'm going to have to look into it a little bit further, uh, because, yeah, that was... That's, that's brilliant. I love how opposite that is, like, you would expect a river to go down. Actually, looks like with me. Oh, yeah, I made it too high, so I can't get up there. Hey, let's. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. 
definitely something to work with. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be doing some landscaping today and tomorrow and, and stuff like that just to get the, uh, at least just to get a basic idea of the first map built, um, the first level, starting area. And from there, uh, I will be designing the actual city, or village, I should say. And then, in, moving on from there, we'll all figure out, you know, if I'm keeping that level, if I'm not keeping that level, and then uh, work on the next one from there. Alright, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, take care, and have a good one.